This car looks like an airplane, but it can't fly. It is called the Aptera, and it is a two-seat, three-wheeled vehicle that claims to be the most energy-efficient car in mass production. It has a sleek, aerodynamic design that reduces drag and increases efficiency. It also has integrated solar panels that can provide enough energy for daily driving without relying on traditional charging infrastructure. First, let's talk about the solar integration. It has a diamond-shaped array of solar panels that cover the roof, hood, and rear of the car. These panels can generate up to 700 watts of continuous charging power, which is enough to drive over 40 miles per day in most regions. That means you can commute to work, run errands, or go for a joyride without ever plugging in. Of course, if you need more range, you can always plug in at a standard outlet or a fast charger. Second, let's talk about the aerodynamic design. The vehicle has a teardrop shape that minimizes air resistance and maximizes efficiency. It also has fully fared in wheels that reduce turbulence and improve stability. It has a drag coefficient of 0.13, which is much lower than the average car, which has a drag coefficient of 0.3. The lower the drag coefficient, the less energy is wasted to overcome air friction. It also has a lightweight composite body that weighs less than 800 pounds, which further reduces the energy consumption. Simply put, it is four times more efficient than typical electric sedans and 10 times more efficient than gas-powered cars. Third, let's talk about the performance and features. The Aptera has in-wheel electric motors that provide either front-wheel or all-wheel drive, depending on the option you select. The front-wheel drive version can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, while the all-wheel drive version can do it in 3.5 seconds. It also has regenerative braking, which recovers energy during deceleration and extends the range. It has a top speed of 110 miles per hour, which is more than enough for most driving scenarios. Finally, let's talk about the most burning question, can the Aptera fly? The answer is no, it cannot fly. It may look like an airplane, but it is not designed to take off or land on airfields. So, what do you think of the Aptera? Do you like its futuristic design, its solar power capabilities, and its energy efficiency? Or do you think it's too weird, too expensive, or too impractical? Click here to watch my latest video on the top 10 most advanced humanoid robots released in 2023.